Today in Singapore, we are facing steep competition from the global market and tight manpower issues. There is an urgent need to look into alternative ways to overcome these challenges. Now let us hear from some industry players on solutions to tackle these challenges. In today's context in Singapore, the labour situation is really tight. In such a situation, robotics could come in to complement the labour force at the lower end of the work spectrum. So for example, repetitive and tedious tasks could be replaced with robots and the Singaporeans and locals could be released to do higher value at work. Robotic surgery has been uh, in the surgical field for more than 10 years now. And uh, me as a surgeon who uses robot almost every other day in his life has made me doing surgery much easier. You can actually do difficult surgeries in a much safer manner. There's also a lot of less post-operative pain. Robotics and automation can improve the lives of the workers, but not many companies know how to take the first step. I see the adoption of robotic technology as an evolutionary approach. With the automation of semi-intelligence, robotics can cross pollinate into other verticals, such as healthcare, education, construction, and so on and so forth. Robotics is still a very new technology in the Singapore market. To encourage and explore the feasibility of adopting such technologies, Asian Robotics Week is one of the signature events to showcase ready-to-use robotic solutions and innovations in this region. On top of automating manual processes, robotics can also add value to improve marketing and customer service. It can enhance customers' experience, especially for sectors like retail and F&B. Singapore needs to continue to build up on our robotics capability so as to get closer to the goal of being a smart nation. Singapore is uh, developing itself to become a smart nation. We bring in image processing, voice technology, human language processing, data analytics, wireless communication and even cyber security. We see that there is a lot of potential for robotic capability to contribute, for example, in improving our national productivity. To encourage businesses and workers to adopt robotics, E2I enables and funds productivity improvement and training. This will help companies stay competitive and develop workers' skill sets to be future ready. E2I will be running a whole host of programs and masterclasses to help people know how to work with robots. The government is doing their part in trying to provide the programs, the funding and more importantly the standards for adoption of new technology. The trade associations are playing a part in terms of providing the education, the awareness and possibly bringing our businesses overseas to see the different innovations outside of Singapore. The businessmen will have to play their part as well to understand what is happening and how they can take bold steps to reap technology, leverage on technology in order for the businesses to continue to be successful. 